top 10 snipers in history, it was night and low perceivability, yet I saw a person with an AK-47 lit up by the yard light in an entryway around 400 meters away. I watched him through the sights. He looked like simply one more Iraqi. I hit him low in the stomach and dropped him. Specialist James Wilkes, 25, from Fort Worth. Texas concealment is vital to turning into an extraordinary rifleman, exceptionally prepared marksman who can shoot precisely from staggering distances with particular preparing and high accuracy. Rifles. What's more, they're prepared in cover, fieldcraft, invasion, surveillance, and perception, making them maybe the most dreaded military presence in a conflict. The following is my rundown of top 10 riflemen in history and the absolute most noteworthy shots at any point discharged. Number 10 Thomas Plunkett passed on in 1851 Rifleman Plunkett was an Irish officer in the British 95th Rifles. What makes him one of the greats is that he shot an exceptionally amazing French general. Auguste Marie Francois Colbert during the fight at Cacabellos during Monroe's retreat in 1809, Plunkett, utilizing a Baker rifle, fired the French general at a scope of around 600 meters. Giving the staggering incorrectness of rifles in the mid 19th century, this was either an extremely great accomplishment or quite an accident. All things considered, Plunkett not needing his military mates to think he was somewhat fortunate chose to make the effort again prior to getting back to his line. Thus, he reloaded his weapon and pointed by and by. This time at the trumpet significant who had gone to the overall's guide. At the point when this shot additionally hit its expected objective demonstrating that Plunkett is only one boss marksman. He thought back to his line to see the intrigued countenances of the others in the 95th Rifles, just for correlation. The British fighters were totally outfitted with earthy colored best guns and prepared to fire into an assemblage of men at 50 meters. Plunkett completed multiple times that distance. Twice. Number 9 Mawini 1949-103 Confirmed kills Mawini was an eager tracker as a child and joined the Marines in 1967. He served in the U.S. Marine Corps during Vietnam and holds the record for the quantity of affirmed executes for Marine marksmen, bypassing that of amazing Marine expert sharpshooter Carlos Hathkick. In only 16 months. He killed 103 adversaries, and another 216 kills were recorded as likely by the military, simply because it was excessively unsafe at an opportunity to scan the bodies for archives. At the point when he left the Marines, he told nobody his part during the contention, and a couple of individual Marines knew about his tasks. It was almost 20 years before someone composed a book specifying his astonishing abilities as a marksman. Mwini emerged from obscurity along these lines and turned into an instructor in rifleman schools. He was once cited as saying, it was a definitive chasing trip. A man chasing another man who was chasing me. Try not to converse with me about chasing lions or elephants, they don't retaliate with rifles and extensions. I simply adored it. I ate it up, a regularly destructive shot from distances between 300 to 800 yards, Mawini had affirmed executes of more than 1,000 yards, making him probably the best sharpshooter of the Vietnam War. Number 8 Chris Kyle April 8, 1974 to February 2, 2013 150 confirmed kills a Navy SEAL marksman brought into the world in Texas. Chris Kyle is likely the most popular individual on this rundown as a result of his 2012 collection of memoirs. American Sniper and the ensuing 2015 movie of a similar title coordinated by Clint Eastwood in which Kyle was played by Bradley Cooper, and in view of the grievous conditions of his passing. The specific number of affirmed executes he made in Iraq has been discussed yet it stands somewhere near 150, he appraises having made another 100 unsubstantiated slaughters. He took the title for most elevated number of slaughters by an American sharpshooter from Waldron, see underneath. He was granted the Silver Star, four bronze stars with V, gadgets. 
a Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and numerous unit and individual awards like Hathkick the foe had an epithet for Kyle. They called him al Shaitan Ramadi, which signifies the Devil of Ramadi. They put an abundance on his head that continued expanding until it came to $80,000 among the U.S. military, including the Marines he was entrusted with securing. He became referred to just as the legend. The epithet began among Kyle's kindred seals after he took a holiday to prepare riflemen in Fallujah and broadly made a 2,100-yard effort that killed a guerrilla expert marksman focusing on U.S. military faculty outside Sadr City in 2008. Kyle said it was a straight-up karma shot. After four deployments in Iraq, he'd been shot twice and endure six separate IED assaults. He resigned from the military in 2009. In 2013, Kyle was appallingly killed alongside his companion, Chad Littlefield, at the Rough Creek Lodge shooting range close to Chalk Mountain, Texas. The one who executed them, Eddie Ray Ruth, was a U.S. Marine with PTSD. He was condemned to life in jail without the chance for further appeal for the homicides. Number 7 Rob Furlong 1976 Previous Corporal of the Canadian Forces Furlong holds the record for the longest affirmed sharpshooter murder in history at 1.51 miles or 2,430 meters. That is the length of around 26 football fields. This astonishing accomplishment happened in 2002 when he was associated with Operation Anaconda. His sniper team comprised of two corporals and three master corporals. At the point when a three-man Al-Qaeda weapons group moved into a mountainside position, he pointed. Furlong was furnished with a .50 type Macmillan Brothers TAC-50 rifle and stacked with a max exceptionally low drag slugs. He terminated and missed. His subsequent shot hit the foe's backpack on his back. He had effectively discharged his third shot when the subsequent hit, however now the adversary realized he was enduring an onslaught. The broadcast appointment for every slug was around three seconds because of the massive distance, enough an ideal opportunity for a foe to hide. Nonetheless, the astounded assailant acknowledged what was going on in the nick of time to make the third effort in the chest. Number 6 Vasily Zaitsev Walk 23, 1915 December 15, 19,916 Zaitsev 242 confirmed kills Zaitsev is likewise a notable expert sharpshooter, because of the film Enemy at the Gates. It is an incredible film, and I wish I could say it was all obvious. Be that as it may, reality just goes similar to the clash of Stalingrad. There was no Nazi counter-sniper specialist in actuality. Indeed, not to the degree spread out like in the film. Here's reality. Zaitsev was brought into the world in Yelenitskoy and experienced childhood in the Ural Mountains. His last name signifies bunny. Before Stalingrad, he filled in as an agent in the Soviet Navy. In any case, in the wake of finding out about the contention around there, he chipped in for the forefront. He served in the 1047th Rifle Regiment. Zaitsev ran an expert sharpshooter school in the Matisse processing plant. The cadets he prepared were called Zaichata, signifying leverets, baby hairs. This was the beginning of the expert sharpshooter development in the 62nd Armed Force. It is assessed that the rifleman he prepared murdered in excess of 3,000 adversary soldiers. Zaitsev himself made 242 affirmed slaughters between October 1942 and January 1943. However, the genuine number is most likely more like 500. I realize I said there could have been no counter sharpshooter, yet there was Erwin Koenig. He was affirmed to be a profoundly talented Wehrmacht expert sharpshooter. Zaitsev guaranteed in his journals that the duel occurred over a time of three days in the vestiges of Stalingrad. Subtleties of what really happened are questionable, however, before the finish of the three-day time frame. Zaitsev had killed the expert rifleman and guaranteed his degree to be his most valued prize. For him to make this his most valued prize implies that this individual he murdered more likely than not been nearly comparable to Zaitsev himself.
Number 5 Lyudmila Pavlichenko July 12, 1916 – October 10, 1974 Lyudmila M. Pavlichenko 309 confirmed kills in June 1941 Pavlichenko was 24, and Nazi Germany was attacking the Soviet Union. She was among the primary volunteers and requested to join the infantry. She was allocated to the Red Army's 25th Infantry Division. From that point, she got one of 2,000 female expert riflemen in the Soviet forces. Her initial two murders were made close to Belyayevka utilizing a Mosin Nagant manual rifle with a PE4 power scope. The primary activity she saw was during the contention in Odessa. She was there for more than two months and indented 187 kills. At the point when they had to migrate, she went through the following eight months battling in Sevastopol on the Crimean Peninsula. There she recorded 257 executes, and for this accomplishment, she was referred to by the Southern Army Council. Pavlichenko's absolute affirmed slaughters during World War II was 309 to 36 of those were adversary sharpshooters. Number 4 Corporal Francis Pega Magabo Wak 9, 1891 August 5, 1952 Francis Pega Magabo 378 confirmed slaughters 300 plus captures three times granted a military award and twice truly injured. Pega Magabo was a specialist marksman and scout credited with 378 German kills and catching 300 plus more. He was an Ojibwe hero with the Canadians in fights like those at Mount Sorrel. As though executing almost 400 Germans wasn't sufficient, he was additionally granted awards for running messages through hefty faux fire, for coordinating a pivotal aid project when his leader was crippled, and for going through faux fire to get more ammunition when his unit was running low, though a say among his kindred troopers. He was for all intents and purposes forgotten once he got back to Canada. Notwithstanding, he was perhaps the best rifleman of World War I. Kill your companions with a SEMA M187 bolt action airsoft sniper rifle at Amazon.com. Number 3 Adelbert F. Waldron Walk 14, 1933 October 18. 1995 Sniper 109 Affirmed Kills Waldron once held the record for the most elevated number of affirmed executes for any American expert marksman ever, until Chris Kyle, see above. In any case, it isn't only his noteworthy slaughter record that makes him truly outstanding, yet additionally his unimaginable accuracy, this portion from inside the crosshairs, snipers in Vietnam by call. Michael Lee Lanning depicts exactly the thing I'm talking about. One evening, he was riding along the Mekong River on a tango boat when an adversary expert rifleman on shore pecked away at the boat. While every other person on board stressed to discover the foe, who was shooting from the shoreline more than 900 meters away. Sergeant Waldron took up his expert rifleman rifle and selected off the Viet Cong from the highest point of a coconut tree with one shot this from a moving stage. Such was the capacity of our best expert marksman. Nuff said, if there were a size of trouble for shots like these, it is close to difficult to beat. All things considered, how about we attempt to do that anyway? Here's White Feather. Number 2 Carlos Norman Hathkick 2 May 20, 1942 to February 23, 1999 Nicknamed Long Trung Du Kitch or White Feather 93 confirmed kills Hathkick has quite possibly the most great mission records of any expert sharpshooter in the Marine Corps. We should disregard the many shooting titles he won. During the Vietnam War, he amassed 93 affirmed executes. The Vietnam Armed Force put a $30,000 abundance on his life for executing so many of their men. Prizes put on U.S. Sharpshooters by the NVA, North Vietnamese Army, ordinarily added up to, say, dollars. It was Hathkeck who discharged the most renowned shot in marksman history. He terminated around over an extremely significant distance which went through the extent of an adversary sharpshooter, hit him in the eye, and slaughtered him. Hathkick and Roland Burke, 
his spotter, were following the faux expert sharpshooter, which had effectively murdered a few marines which they accepted was shipped off execute him explicitly. At the point when Hathcock saw a blaze of light reflecting off the adversary's degree, he discharged at it in a brief moment, pulling off perhaps the most exact shots ever. Hathcock contemplated that the solitary way this was conceivable would have been if the two sharpshooters were focusing on one another's degrees all the while, and he terminated first. Nonetheless, albeit the distance was rarely affirmed, Hathcock realized that it would have been simple for the two expert sharpshooters to kill each other on account of the flight time. The white plume was inseparable from Hathcock, he kept one in his cap and he eliminated it just a single time for a mission. Remember that he chipped in for this mission, however he needed to slither more than 1,500 yards of hostile area to shoot a NBA directing general. Data wasn't sent until he was in transit. He chipped in for a mission he knew nothing about. It required four days and three evenings without rest of inch by inch slithering. One aggressor nearly stepped on him as he lay disguised in a knoll. At another point, he was almost nibbled by a snake, however, he didn't recoil. He at last got into position and sat tight for the general. At the point when he showed up, Hathkick was prepared. He terminated one round and hit the general through the chest, slaughtering him. The officers began a quest for the sharpshooter, and Hathkick needed to slither back to keep away from recognition. They never got him, with nerves of steel. Number 1. Simo Heiha December 17, 1905 to April 1, 2002 Nicknamed the White Death, 705 affirmed kills 505 with a rifle, 200 with a submachine gun. Heiha was a Finnish warrior who, utilizing an iron-located manual rifle, amassed the most elevated recorded affirmed kills as a marksman any conflict ever. He was brought into the world in the region of Rautjärvi close to the present-day line of Finland and Russia, and began his military assistance in 1925. His obligations as a marksman started during the Winter War, 1939-1940, among Russia and Finland. During the contention, Heiha suffered frigid temperatures up to 40 degrees Celsius. In under 100 days, he was credited with 505 affirmed kills, 542 if including unsubstantiated kills. Be that as it may, the informal forefront figures from the combat zone puts the quantity of expert sharpshooter murders at more than 800. Other than his expert sharpshooter executes. He was likewise credited with 200 from a Swami KP-31 submachine firearm, finishing off his all-out affirmed slaughters at 705. How Heiha did this was astounding. He was fundamentally on his own the entire day, in the snow, shooting Russians for a quarter of a year in a row. Obviously, when the Russians got wind that numerous fighters were being slaughtered, they thought, indeed, this is battle, there will undoubtedly be losses. But when the commanders were informed that it was one man with a rifle, they chose to make a touch of move. To begin with, they sent in a counter-expert rifleman. At the point when his body was returned, they chose to send in a group of counter-expert marksmen. At the point when they didn't return by any stretch of the imagination, they sent in an entire goddamn contingent. They took setbacks and couldn't discover him. Ultimately, they requested a big gun strike, yet without much of any result. Heiha was smart, and this was his knack of the woods, he dressed totally in white cover. He utilized a more modest rifle to suit his more modest casing, being just 5 feet 3 inches, and increment his exactness. He utilized an iron sight to introduce the littlest conceivable objective, a Peru sight would require the rifleman to raise his head for locating. He compacted the snow before the barrel so as not to upset it when he shot, subsequently uncovering his position. He likewise kept snow in his mouth, so his breath didn't consolidate and uncover where he was. In the long run, be that as it may, he was shot in the jaw by a wanderer projectile during battle on March 6, 1940. He was gotten by his own fighters, who said a large portion of his head was absent. 
Nonetheless, he didn't kick the bucket and recovered cognizance on the 13th. The day harmony was declared. Once once more, absolute kills 505 riflemen plus 200 submachine equals 705 all-out confirmed kills all in under 100 days.